most people think of wine tasting, they think of rolling hills and lavish estates with acres of beautiful vines. Not an industrial park facing the back of a Home Depot parking lot. This is the so-called Lompoc Wine Ghetto in Lompoc, California. The Lompoc Wine Ghetto is in warehouses. It's not these rolling, lavish estates. It's not these beautiful, scenic wineries. It's about the glass. It's about what's in the bottle. And we show it not on the outside. It's something that you can come in here and experience, and the wine speaks for itself. Chelsea Rushing works at Palmina Winery, which specializes in northern Italian varietals. She gave the Wall Street Journal a taste of some of Palmina's best spring wines. For spring, we have three different wines. We have our Tokai Frilano, we have our Malvasia Bianca, and our Dolcetto. And they're all wonderful springtime varietals. They're very bright. Tokai Frilano is very citrusy. It's a coastal wine. It's something that pairs great with asparagus, artichoke. We've got some Grana Padano out here today to try it with. Our Dolcetto is kind of an everyday, really wonderful with pastas, pizzas, so it's great for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. It's kind of Tuesday night wine, any time of the week. And then um, Malvasia Bianca, really fragrant, lots of floral components, lots of honeysuckle, jasmine, really wonderful creaminess to it, but very crisp, completely dry wine that's wonderful with more exotic cuisines. We have an arrabbiata sauce here that's got a little kick to it. It's great with spicier foods, so you could even do Thai food, Vietnamese food, and um, Malvasia is really wonderful with this fresh springtime produce as well. Across the alleyway at Fiddlehead Winery, assistant winemaker Stephen Villa doesn't think the lack of scenery is a turnoff for Lompoc visitors. People come to the wine ghetto for good wine, and I think everybody who makes wine here can actually produce that. Fiddlehead, which specializes in Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc, gave the Wall Street Journal its recommendations for springtime as well. For springtime, uh, we're just about ready to release our 2011 Gooseberry, which is 100% stainless steel Sauvignon Blanc. It's crisp and refreshing, a lot of citrus notes to it, and it's low alcohol, light bodied, so you can enjoy a glass on the outside porch. Uh, you can pair it with fresh fruit, some uh, candied uh, jalapenos would be great with it. Because the tasting rooms and production facilities are one and the same in Lompoc, the person pouring your wine might also be the one who made it. It's fantastic to work in the Lompoc Wine Ghetto. You know, we get a sense of every step of the winemaking process. So that, you know, we do the punch downs, everybody here does harvests. So many people here are hands on in this industry that's nice to be able to go from tasting room to tasting room and find people that are so knowledgeable and so involved in the process. For Miss Rushing and the other winemakers at Lompoc, there are some major advantages in winemaking without all the frills. So it's a completely different encounter than sometimes when you go to different tasting rooms in different areas and you get that whole, you know, vineyard view of everything and you're not necessarily thinking about the production. Here it's kind of fun because you see behind the scene 